Welcome to York Hall Bethnal Green, where any number of great British world champions have fought in this very ring. But it's rare that you get a world title fight here. But Friday night, we have that, the IBF World Flyweight Championship, thanks to these fellas here. We are joined by the champion, Maruti Umtalani, Frank Warren, promoter, and Sonny Edwards, the challenger for the night. Uh, Maruti, welcome. Your first time in Britain. Yeah. How was the journey? Uh, the journey has been cool. I'm happy. Finally, we're here. Yeah. And this is a, this is a very famous uh, historical venue with just enormous amounts of history. Most of it you, you've been here for, right, Frank? Yeah, I'm, I'm that old. <laughs> I think I was here when they, 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 when they built it. I remember helping them lay the first brick. No, it's a, <laughs> it, look, it's a it's, it's, it's traditional home of British boxing. Um, obviously, we're behind closed doors at the moment, but it's a, it's a very fitting and uh, fitting venue, which I think is going to be a fight. There's going to be something special between these two guys. I mean, they're two excellent, excellent boxers. Um, and, you know, that's what they're going to be fighting for. Strap that round their belt, the winner. It's, uh, this, you know, this is, this is what it's all about. And as I say, here is a fitting, fitting venue for it to take place in. Sonny, here we are, the world level. This is it. This is what, you know, you're talking earlier about you always just wanted to be a boxer. This is the nights that you trained for all those years. How are you feeling ahead of that? Yeah, I mean, fight nights are the only ones we can really enjoy, you know. Um, I've said it time and time again, when you're proper fighters like me and Maruti, we fight for free against people as good, if not better, bigger than us, time and time again. I mean, look, we're five foot three, you know what I mean? So there's not too many people smaller than us just to spar, to, to have the rounds with. So we're, we're fighters, so this is what we live for. I mean, it's just great to, you know, get Maruti over. He's a great champion, something I've alluded to many times. Someone I've met and known personally, and I've got a lot of time for, a lot of respect for. And I'm grateful, just as, just as I'm grateful for Frank and, and my management team getting him over for, for giving me the opportunity. I mean, he could have been a bit more patient, maybe sort of looked at the other world champions, but he knows himself that they're all avoiding him. That's why he's not had the unification fights he, his career has cried out for and deserved. So I'm glad that, you know, whatever we've put together is, has been acceptable for him and his team to come all this way during this, the crazy times we're in. And, Fight nights ahead of us now. We've just got to jump on the scales tomorrow and then we'll be good to go. Maruti, it's been a long time in between your last, uh, last fight and now. How happy are you to finally be back in the ring again? Yeah, hmm, I'm happy because I was supposed to fight in December back in South Africa, but the fight was cancelled a few days before. So I'm happy to get another opportunity to be back in the ring. Yeah, I've been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. Has it been a frustrating sort of year and a half for you? Obviously, the world's been suffering with the pandemic, but particularly getting out into shows has been difficult because there's been no fans mm. and things. Has it been very frustrating trying to get mm. that fight over the line? Mm, yeah, it's been very frustrating, but I understand what's going on in the world right now. So I've been patient. Now I'm here. I've got the opportunity to fight again. And the man you're fighting is someone you actually know. Uh, I believe it was Ukraine you two were yeah, sparring together, I know, was it? I know him very well. We're sharing the same hotel in Ukraine for two weeks. We're eating lunch and, and dinner together. So he's my friend. But Friday night, we have to meet. Yeah, that's how boxing it is. Yeah. Sonny, is it, is it all friends on Friday night? <laughs> Oh, not on Friday night, it can't be. I mean, <laughs> it's war. It's yeah. war the man's right. a killer. Yeah, war. And you want me to be his friend on Friday? No, we'll be friends today, tomorrow. Tomorrow and Friday. Friday is not my friend, I forget mm. him on Friday. But yeah, yeah, Saturday, go both home on our way to our families, regardless of whether the belt changed hands. Well, I, I want it to, I think it will. But yeah, there's bigger things than boxing, even though boxing is our lives. So, I mean, respect for everyone in this sport. And like I said, the opportunity for me is massive. I've been crying out, I've been ringing Frank twice a week for the last two years. Where's my world title fight coming? Why is everyone else getting them before me? And now, now, now look, I'm, I'm here. And now it's time to, you know, sort of cash in those checks that my mouth's been writing. He's written a whole lot of them, you know what I mean? So it's, I'm looking forward to proving myself against uh, the best in the division, the Ring Magazine number one. Hopefully, because we're friends, he'll think, do you know what, you can have this one. So <laughs> that would be nice. If not, then, but if not, yeah. we'll, we'll find out on Friday. I mean, boxing is a gentleman's sport, especially when there's a lot of respect there. And, and all I've been saying is I want a nice, fair, honest fight. The right person wins and then we can go on from there and see where we're at. Frank, he is a very dangerous man in the ring. I think 39 wins, 26 knockouts. 
That's a lot of knockouts. How do you feel about Sonny in the, going in there with someone well, with that kind of know, power? Being very honest, I mean, I made the fight, as you said, two years. The thing was, he kept reversing the charges, and I thought, it can't go on like this, so I'll be skinned. He wouldn't have the fight so much. But, uh, you know, we fought, we really did work hard to make the fight happen, and the champs come over, and, uh, you know, you've got to give him full credit for that. Um, I think this could be Sonny's time. I know it's not going to be easy. Um, and, you know, the, the thing is, He's what we called in the old days, he's in the Who Needs Him Club. You know, he, he was, the, and you've been a fighter that everybody wants to, avoids. But he stepped up to the plate, called it out, and, and Sonny's got it. You fought some great fighters in the division. Of course, Nito Donaire, uh, Casemiro, Zelani Tete. What do you see in Sonny that makes him world level? Mm, I would say I've watched uh, Sonny's videos. No, he's a good boxer, promising young boxer. Yeah. Mm. But I'm ready for him. There's no chance he'll beat me on Friday. Maybe next time, or to all the other champions, not this time around. Yeah. What would you say to him that you're gonna that you're gonna capitalise on? How do you beat him? Uh, we did our homework at home. Let me. Mm, we'll see on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Sonny, how do you beat the champ? Well, what Maury doesn't know is we've got him every single year until we, until he's too old to box no more. Do you know what I mean? We've got him <laughs> signed in contract in the small print. Um, but no, I don't, I don't stand and meet and have a, a tear-up with Maruti. I mean, I don't have a stand-off and tear-up with anyone, I suppose. Not even a journeyman, so I'm definitely not going to start with the best of the bunch that's got nearly twice as many knockouts and I've got fights. I mean, I'd like to think I'm a quite a clever boxer and that would be a stupid way to go about it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and make this 20-foot ring seem about 30-foot and I've got my running trainers ready, so I'm going to be hopefully moving away from <laughs> those big left and rights all night. And <laughs> that's the plan. And and hopefully the, my body of work is better than his. I mean, I'm very confident. It's a fight I'm very confident for. I think styles make fights, and I've never had issues with them people that are much stronger than me. I mean, much physically stronger than me. Maybe slower, but like if me and Marie got on our knees now and had an arm wrestle, I'd have no doubt that he'd snap my arm enough. But that's not all what boxing is. I mean, I can make it an art, I can make it a dance, and that's what I've got to do, and that's what I'll try to do. Sonny says he's going to outmove you there. He mentioned 38 years old. How has training camp been? Because obviously you've got to come into this fit if he wants you to move. <laughs> no, training camp has been going well. We did everything like I always do. I'm always come to the fight, well prepared. I did the same thing now. So let's wait for Friday night and see. And still, yeah. And you're ready to mix it up as well. You're not just a man who punches, you can move as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know how to fight on the back foot. It depends on the fight and on who I'm fighting, you know, yeah. And Frank, Styles makes fights. Exactly. That, that famous expression was that part of the uh, part of the thinking in, in making this matchup, yeah, or is it I, all just that? I, I think it's exactly that. Right? I think you know you got you got you know you got two guys with contrasting styles, and on the night it's going to be who's got you know who's whose style is going to take control of the fight. You know, Sonny, I've got a lot of faith in Sonny as to his ability, his boxing brain. He's a very intelligent fighter, and. Uh, and boxing, as we all know, at the end of the day, is the art of hitting and not being hit. And the reason you have judges is for scoring, scoring fights. You know, if it was all about, you know, knocking, you know, fellow who punches hardest, you wouldn't need the judges or the officials. So I'm, I'm really, really, you know, I'm, I'm, I know it's going to be a tough fight, but I really do believe in Sonny and I think he can pull this off. And that's not the, being disrespectful to a fine champion and uh, someone who we all, we all, any, everyone in boxing respects for all what his accomplishments are and, and certainly we respect him for coming here. Sonny, does the, uh, the CV of Maruti worry you at all? There's some great fighters in there. Um, I don't really look too much into that. I already know him. Before I met him, I knew who Maruti was. I'd seen his fights. I mean, I remember when my brother had Casemiro on his plate, the fight that gave us a bit of confidence, foolishly, was, was Maruti stopping him. Do you know what I mean? So I'd, I'd seen him from, lo from a long time ago, um, before I met him. And I've seen his fights and I've supported him and watched from afar and wanting him to do well. So I know what Murray's about, but with boxers, it's, I don't really look at how they fight other people. Because when I get in the ring, it's always a, it's a different rhythm. I mean, my 15 fights as a pro, they're all quite similar. But then if you try to compare them to anyone else, you, you, there, isn't, there isn't my style out there because it is unique. It is, it is something that you don't really see all too often. It's like a throwback to the Woody Peps, you know, the, the fighters that we're just not getting involved and you don't really have that because a lot of times people can move for a few rounds they can be fast on the legs for four five six rounds 
but then they sort of get deep rooted. Their, their legs go slow, and but I've got miles in my legs. I mean, you see me in the top round at every fight. I'm moving faster than I was moving the first. I'll be in and out trying to, you know, score in between his, his his mental concentration breaks. That's what I'm about. It's way more than just who's stronger, who can lift more, or or, or throw a medicine ball at a wall harder. It's it's really not that with me. It's it's my IQ. It's it's the it's the rhythm, it's the range. I, I just think at the end of the day, his styles make fights, and, they, and I, I think this fight's going to be edge of your seat stuff. I think it's going to be, you know, the classic boxer against the the big puncher, which you can box a bit himself, by the way, but you know, that's what it's going to be. You and Sonny are both at very different stages of your career, obviously, and if you win on Friday, the title reign continues, but where does Sonny go from there? Is he, do you believe he's world level? According to his fights, yes, I do believe he's in world level. That's why he's got this opportunity. Mm. Yeah. And, and Sonny, would it would it be a major setback for you to lose, or do you think it's all just part of the journey? I mean, I haven't thought about losing yet. I didn't even think it was possible. Um, but now nah, it. He does. Yeah, I know. That's what I've only found out now. He wasn't yeah. here yesterday. Um, <laughs> nah, it's of course I go into everything with you got a plan A, you got a plan B, and a plan C if you need to. So I know where I'll be at and where I'll be looking to go if the worst happens. I'm not a stupid boxer that doesn't understand the, don't understand the sport. I mean, I would say, if anything, I'm quite well versed in, in, in the whole sport and the business of boxing. So, yeah, it won't be the end of the world because you're there to be great. I, I like boxing. I mean, I'm not in this sport to snatch a world title, make a bit of money and jump out, which a lot of fighters you hear that you hear that in their interviews, you hear it in their actions and the way their career goes out. I want to be sat in that chair over there when I'm 38, just like Mauritius is still fighting. Because I love the sport. I, I don't want to do anything else. I don't see myself doing anything else. And this is just the first step at world level. The, my introduction to world level, I mean, if I'm no way near it, I'm going to find out from this man on, on Friday night and then, then I'll look at, at how I'm going to get back up to, to where I want to be. But I genuinely believe I've been operating and I'm there. I mean, I've been in the ring with countless world champions. I've held my own numerous occasions, even years much, you know, junior to what I'm at now. Um, and I'm a very confident kid. Did he talk this much in Ukraine? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was listening in Ukraine. I was listening to all his stories. And, and Sonny yeah. talks a lot about his boxing IQ and, and that he believes that he's going to have to be smarter than you on the night. You've boxed, I mean, you haven't lost since 2008. You've boxed around the world. You've boxed in, obviously, South Africa, Italy, Vegas, Japan, Macau. You've seen it all. Can someone be smarter than you in the ring? Yeah, I think it's easy to talk. It's easy to say, I'll do this and this and this. But in the ring, is a different story. Like, uh, we don't win by talking, win by fighting in the ring. That's what's going to happen on Friday night. Yeah. All right then, Maruti, I'll, I'll, you're the champion. I'll give you the first prediction. How's it ending on Friday night? Uh, like to all my fights, I'm always ready for full 12 rounds. Bonus, I've got no count in my career, but it always comes as a bonus to me. Every time I'm preparing for the fight, I prepare for full 12 rounds. So if no count comes, it's going to be bonus. If it doesn't come, then I'll win by unanimous decision. Frank, how's it going? I've got fancy my man. That's why we put our money up. <laughs> He's my man. And, uh, this is his big opportunity, and we believe in him. As I said, you know, it's uh, but he's, you know, it's 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 not going to be any easy task. That's for sure. This is man's been a, not been. He is a great fighter, and uh, we're going to see we'll see whether that goes over that side on Friday or stays where it is. So it's going to. But I know, I know, if, it, if it's come, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to wanting it and desire. You know, he's not going to he's not going to be lacking in that sunny at all. Not at all. And sunny. Of course, how do you see it going? Um, one of two ways. Either I win the belt in the ring, or I sneak into his change room after and, and head back up to Sheffield with it over my shoulder. Um, no, nah, I, I genuinely believe it will, it will be a, a points win. I mean, no one stops this man. No one. Not even in Nito Diné. I know it went down as a KO. It was a cut that, that, that got marked down. So no one stops this man. He's been in. And, and, and I. I see why he doesn't come over here with, with one bit of fear for me. I mean, he's been in against much bigger, much scarier, much more dangerous than me. He probably looks at me down as, as you know, a bit of a boy, do you know what I mean? And, and, and you'd, you, wouldn't have, you wouldn't forgive him for doing so because that's what I've had my whole entire career. I mean, I'm a 25-year-old that looks about 18. Do you know what I mean? I've only just started getting hairs on my chest, so I've got a long way to mature yet before I'm a, I'm a full-on man. But I'm at, I'm at world level. I know my boxing ability, 
my focus and, and my reactions. There's a lot of things that make me a good fighter. And unfortunately for the highlight rules, it's not knockout power. But you don't always need that. And sometimes not having that lets you sort of open your mind up to different ways of winning and different ways of styling out rounds. And, and you know, I'm good at negating what's in front of me. I always have been. Fortunately for me, we've managed to get them over. You know, this is my home city. I've been in this venue. I've only boxed here a couple of times, only as a pro. I never, never got a fight as an amateur. But I've been in New York Hall probably 50, 60, 70 times in, 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 in my lifetime. And I've only been on this planet two minutes, you know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's all come full circle. I mean, I used to box for Repton. It's green and gold, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's good, man. It seems like the stars are aligning, definitely. That's it, world title boxing here at York Hall, Bethnal Green. The IBF Flyweight Championship, the Ring Magazine number one, Maruti Mtalani against Sonny Edwards, and that's 7 p.m. on BT Sport One on Friday night. All right, guys, if you do a head-to-head -head in the ring. That do you fellas, I'll be here all night. <laughs>